here's my attempt to make a simple video to show you how to make adjustments in your iRacing.ini file. Over here to the Start button, left click Start, enter iRacing and Search. I know to look in this particular folder. You'll notice if you point at these different folders, the different sizes pop up. You want the folder that's approximately 2.5 gigabytes. I'm going to right click. I'm going to open File Location. You can see it's in the Documents folder. Open. And here's your app INI file right here. Okay, when we left click on that, it's going to open in a text format notepad. Okay, the first thing we want to do is select File, Save As, dot text that will work. I'm going to change it to um, dot in, dot backup, dot b a c, and press enter. Now it's saved in that format. Now the changes that we talked about. See if I can find them a little bit quicker here. You notice you have all these different ones like CPU meter on or off. If you want to see CPU usage, just read through these different ones and you'll see things. And to turn like CPU meter on, you change this to A1. One thing that I changed, driver head horizontal percentage to allow the driver's head to stay level on the horizon. I've got that set to zero. I've got the percentage allowed the driver's head level in car pitches. Driver head wobble when going over bumps. I'm going to change my driver head wobble. 2.2. All that's just distracting when you're racing. It adds realism, but it also adds a distraction for your brain to deal with. I'm going to move up here. Okay, here's the ticker, overlay ticker. You'll notice our bar is almost in the middle here. If we put it about in the middle, the overlay ticker will be about in the center. Set to 1 to turn ticker on when session user interface is disabled. And on this computer, I've got mine set to 0. <coughs> but set that to 1 to enable the ticker. And I'll show you what we do after we make any changes. We have to save them. It explains a lot about all these different settings if you want to make changes. So you can just read through them. 
as long as you've got your backup file. Now, I wouldn't recommend changing but one at a time if you don't know exactly what to expect. But if, if it's an obvious simple thing like the ticker, you can change a couple. Just where you don't, if you have a problem, it wouldn't uh, throw you off what you change that you want to go back and fix. There was one thing, the looking into turn, cockpit look angle. These are things you might want to consider changing. This is when you push the button to turn your head, how far your head turns. How quick the transition ha happens when you press that button. This is the one that's important to me. Zero to one. The percent to rotate the driver's head with slip angle. And I've got that set to zero. I think it defaults at 0.5. But that means when the car starts sliding, your view keeps looking in the same place on the track and that is the direction the car's heading. Even though the car started sliding and turning sideways, setting that to zero will let you immediately start seeing that the car is sliding sideways. Your view will no longer be down the track like it was when the car was tracking. So you want to set this driver rotate head to zero. To me that's worth all the efforts to change. It's really cool, you know, especially road racing, when you start sliding a little bit, you're looking down the track into the next turn, but it's not, uh, I think it messes us up on uh, the circle tracks oval racing. Okay, now we want to save what we've done. Let's look at the save as. We don't want it to save as backup. We want it to save as app I N I because we had changed it to backup. So we go to save as, change that back to app I N I. Let it save. Okay, so we're going to replace the original file by saying yes. Now remember, if, if it's not going to wreck your computer, but if you don't like the results, you go back, load app INI backup, change the name to app dot INI, and save and you'll be back to where you started. Close that out and you should be all set. I'm going to end this video.